up you guys what's up happy new year we're about to do this video real quick listen let me tell y'all so first of all i really do need to go get my fingernails done because from all i've been doing hair for like days and days now like curling wigs and all of that you know i've been just trying to catch up okay like seriously i've been trying to catch up so this hair because you know it's a hair tutorial is from a vendor called nice light like nice light nice light hair and they do have an aliexpress store which i will definitely post below for you guys they did send me their virgin brazilian bundles and a closure because i really didn't want to do like a frontal this time you know like it's cool. I like frontals too, but sometimes, you know, you just got to revert back to like your beginning stages. But I figured like I would do a closure because it's more, um, it's just a lot cheaper. It's more affordable versus a frontal. And some people are not like really ready to do like a frontal, like make one or style one. So closures are super easy. You can either tweeze the hairline of a closure if you want to. This is how she looks. I ended up, let me tell y'all something. After curling 10 wigs, I had kind of like ran out of ideas. So I was just sitting there in the living room watching um, The Blacklist because I love that show. And um, I just started cutting the hair. So now she looks like this. Bam. Okay, so this is my new little friend right here. Her name is Beauty. Okay, and I will definitely tell you where I got her from because um, I did get her from Amazon and she was super cheap on there. Plus, they have other canvas heads. So you guys. I'll definitely link it below, but they are from a vendor on Amazon called BHD Beauty, and I'll post that for you guys, but this is how I cut the hair. I just wanted something different, and I also did bleach the closure, and I pre-tweezed the front of that closure. That bad boy is pre-tweezed. You know what I think I did forget? The comb. So I really did forget to sew in the daggone combs in this wig. But whatever, we're going to just wing it. This is going to be an easy one. Like, this should definitely be easy. You want to get you a nice little pair of scissors, like some little short scissors. So I'm just going to cut the lace. And I'm going to try not to cut it straight across, too. Because I just took my wand curler and just curled it. It's on a mesh dome hat or cap, so... got that at a good angle in the back for you guys so that you can see how it fully looked i just took the scissors and just went downwards divided the hair in half and you know just started cutting it like in one like you know kind of like big chunk and that was the look that i came out i did notice that some pieces down here were not curled i like the way it came out like it looks so cute you never see me make like a short wig like this definitely not out of a closure everything that i normally make is like super long i wouldn't even really know what length this would be to tell you guys it's probably like 14 inches or something but it's very full because i have three bundles out of the four bundles i have three so it's very full it's very flowy and bouncy and it's just like super cute and i just kind of like tassel curled it throughout the thing it was like no particular direction um for it but 
as for the closure thing, because you guys want your closure to look as natural as possible, I don't even have no cones in, and I'm happy about that. I think it has to do with the cornrows, time to tease the cornrows. So, as for the closure, so you want to just make sure that for one, you have like a really good pair of tweezers. And when you, you're tweezing at it, you know, and this is the same way that I tweeze my frontal, you just kind of like go in between and just do the dips. You know what I'm saying? Like there are so many different videos on YouTube for the actual tweezing method and it just applies to everything, but you want to kind of like go in spaces and just back a little bit. Um, Not so much as you would with a frontal, but just, you know, just do a little bit at a time. And then I didn't even make any baby hairs. I just took the actual toothbrush that I have here and I just brushed the hairs down a little bit. I also bleached it with the um, Clairol um, clay bleach. It's for any hair color type. So, you know, I did use that and 30 developer. Um, and I just brushed the hairs down like just sparingly. The hair came, like I said, in four bundles and I cut, I cut them. I cut them. I didn't realize I cut them this short, but it's different and I think it's cute. So anyway, the hair color, I mean, excuse me, the hair texture is body wave. And of course, once I made it, I did wash it. I first bleached the closure. That was the first thing I did was bleach the closure. And it lifted like with no problem. And then the next thing you know is I just go ahead and made the wig. You know what I'm saying? I made the wig with it. Um, I just put it on a regular dome mesh cap. I don't have any combs in it, as you guys know. But when I washed it, a little bit did shed out, you know what I'm saying, from the bundles. I only used three full bundles and that's it. Um, just a little bit shed out. There was like nothing really, like no smell, no residue, no no dirty water, no none of that stuff. It just shed a little bit, and that's that. And it was so easy to tweeze, and the hairline was not that bad to begin with. But you know, it was just kind of like straight across, and you really don't want it to be too straight across, though you don't want it to be slipping back on your forehead neither. So you guys, you can check out Nice Light Hair. I will post their information below. I am so happy with this. Like I like I said, I didn't even know what I was gonna do. I didn't know what hairstyle I was going to do. I didn't want to do it long because I've done enough long hairstyles. You know, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, sum this video up, and share it. And let me know what you think about this hairstyle. Is it suitable for me or did it just age me? I love you.